and she's here. Miss Jahadi Wright. Joseph, good yes. afternoon, and welcome Hi. to CWS Journeys. How are you? I'm great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You're ha you happen to be, how old are you now? Uh, I'm 11 years old now. Aries. I turned 11 in April. You're an Aries like me? Or are we going to have fun this time? <laughs> You're the youngest on my show, and I love it. Oh, that's great. I feel so honored. <laughs> awesome. So, our guest this afternoon is the amazingly gifted and talented young lady, Shahadi Wright-Joseph, who you see on the other side of the screen. She's an American singer, actor, and dancer. You have seen her on The Lion King as Nala. Yes. And as Madison on School of Rock. Now she's about to dazzle us as Little Inez on NBC's live musical produced by Universal Television. That will <laughs> air December 7th from Los Angeles, right? Yes. At age um, nine, she made history as the youngest actor to, uh, to play young Nala in Disney's The Lion King on Broadway. She began her career as a Fisher Price print model and started dance training with Pure Elements and Evolution in Dance at age two. In fall 2015, Shahadi joined the original broad Broadway cast of School of Rock, playing the role of Madison and understudied the role of Tomika with performances recognized by the Odelco Theater Committee earning her 2016 Odelco Rising Star Award. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, also I must say congratulations on getting this part in the NBC's <laughs> musical. Um, let me ask you this. How did it feel, well, how did you find out you got the part? Well, I found out right after one of the shows of School of Rock. It was the day after my final audition for Hairspray. Mm -hmm. And we were about to drive to go home, but then we stopped at a bodega and my parents stepped out of the car and my mom got flowers and um, and she they told me to come out of the car and then that's when they told me. And I was so excited and I, I was jumping around and screaming and I, I instantly called almost all my friends and I was so excited and I could barely sleep that night because I was so excited. How did your friends react typically? Well, um, I told my friends in my dressing room and they were so happy. We were jumping around and, um, like I did that night and and well, that's 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 what happened and we um, we uh, we we were just so happy and we were just so excited, but yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what was? Tell us a little bit about the audition for for this part, Little Inez. Um, well, I came in at about like nine o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and since I live in Brooklyn, it's a it's. A little bit hard to get to uh, to get to the city at such an early time in the morning so we got there and we started the dance audition um, we uh, uh, we uh, we started the dance audition and that was going great so then after we um, we changed into our we changed into our character clothes and then we started the, the singing audition and then after after the singing audition, after we recorded and stuff, we um, Mr. Kenny Leon had to uh, had to come in, and we were doing uh, acting some sides. We were doing some sides, um, and we were doing some stuff that I had from another audition, from another audition, and it was it was a lot of fun. I was really nervous, but it was so much fun. <laughs> so when you're auditioning. Seven years old. What is going through your mind? What are you thinking of? Um, I'm I'm thinking of the role, and I'm thinking of how I could spice things up to make people remember me, um, and remember me, and think. Even if I didn't get the part, they think, "Oh man, I'm I remember that Shahadi girl," uh, and <laughs> and um. And so I try to I try to do those things during an audition, make things seem like a little bit different, um, instead of like the norm. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, you go. You, can you, know, <laughs> you know, for those who are, who, or you said, um, you know, 
I want to spice things up and thinking, well, oh, that actually sounds experience. But it is true that this is not your first time. You um, you played the part not on The Lion King. You were only nine. That was about two years ago. Yes. Um, what what do you remember the most about that? Um, I remember. Gosh, <laughs> um, um, I can't really remember a lot because it's been two years, and I can barely remember a lot of choreography. But I, I, I do remember how the cast and the crew were so sweet and so nice and so caring, and they would do anything to make me feel comfortable and at home, and. Um, and I would do I, I would do regular school in the mornings. So then after that, I would I would go to the theater. So sometimes it would be tiring. Sometimes I would be like, Oh my god, I can't wait to get to the theater. Um, and some sometimes it would just be like, Oh my god, I'm so exhausted. And <laughs> what was it like learning your lines? Were that difficult? Um, a little bit, mm -hmm. but I mean like uh, the assistant directors. They they helped me with those by um, they helped me remember my lines and I would always study them um, after a rehearsal and like in the mornings before another rehearsal so it was it was kind of like that. You know I remember seeing Lion King several years ago. Gosh, it's a very long time, and I remember take, being taken in by the costume and lots of people are always taken in by the costume. Mm -hmm. I know it's two years ago, Shahadi, but what what, what how did you react when you first saw your costume? Well, when I first saw my costume, I said, OMG, this is going to be so exciting. Because I had never worn a costume like that ever. Like, I've, I've always worn, like, like even if I was um, at, like, a dance recital, they were always, like, these beautiful dresses and gowns and, and, and like, nothing, nothing like that. There were no corsets, there were no beaded, beaded anything, well, well, some of the costumes were beaded, yeah. but I mean like, there was this really cool leotard, and the pants, and the skirt, it was, it was so beautiful, and I was so excited to see it once I got it. Let's move up the line a little bit to School of Rock, Madison, tell us a little bit about that character. Well, the character Madison is she. Um, she play. Um, well, I I play, I play <laughs> Madison, the um, the roadie, someone who helps out um, Mr. Schneebly, Dewey Finn, um, during the Battle of the Bands. She moves the amps. She fixes the amps. She uh, tunes the guitars, and she um, she she fixes the wires. And it's kind of it's it's really fun. I mean, like I don't really know how to do all that stuff, but it's <laughs> it's fun to um, to fake it and to do all that stuff and to and to pretend that I'm a real roadie and Madison is really really goofy really fun really special she's um and she she just has fun with anything what what do you what did you like most about the role or what did you like a lot about Madison um one thing that I liked is that is that um, you know she was always she was always everywhere <laughs> she was always showing up in places and helping people and she was really caring and she's really smart and really really happy about everything and yeah yeah <laughs> is she any anything like um, you in real life? Yes, yes, and we're both really excited about everything, and we have this this jumpy attitude, and it's um it's something that we both have in common, like a lot. <laughs> you uh, here you are dancing and singing and acting and so on. How, how did you get started? Uh, what got you uh, inspired about this? What got you started in um, in all of this, well, I started dancing at Pure Elements in Evolution in Dance when I was two years old. Hmm. Um, and then at age eight um, is when I decided to audition for The Lion King because my mom heard a, um, 
a, a radio commercial for it. And so my sister Sundari and I both um, both auditioned for it. And and then the callbacks just kept coming back. And and then at my first audition, I was I was eight years old and it was three days before my birthday. So I was just about to turn nine. So yeah, the callbacks just kept kept coming back and coming back. And I had some um, I had some practice um, with Aubrey Lynch. Um, he was he he's he's a he's an amazing vocal instructor, and he works with acting as well. And he he makes the rules sound really easy for other people to understand. And it's it was a lot of fun. And then. And then while we were still in The Lion King, auditions kept coming up, like for Matilda and for School of Rock. And so when School of Rock came up online, my mom saw that, and then she asked if we wanted to audition for it. And that night when she did, we watched School of Rock <laughs> that <laughs> night, um, the whole family did. And so, and so we did that, and, and then the audition date came, and we were we we went to the audition and it was it was it was a lot of fun they 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 made everything seem fun and also all the all the lion cubs went with me as well for school of rock for the school of rock audition oh, really? yeah so we all went together and 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 everyone, everyone, the choreographers, the assistant directors, they all made everything sound really fun, and they made it seem childish, which it, which it really is, because we're all children. And so, and it was something that everybody was going to enjoy. What, um, what was most challenging for you when you were uh, about playing Nala? What was the most difficult part? most difficult part is the king's curtain it's something that that right before just can't wait to be king the um both the kids need to jump over a rake break and then the king's curtain comes down the funny thing and the scary thing about it is that there are chains of the king's curtain but it like falls down and it's dark and you can't see anything but i mean Lion King is really fun, but you also need to know that there are safety issues too. So you need to have fun, but you need to you need to also be aware. I think you should be interviewing me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I thought of asking you to describe yourself, but I'm gonna try something a little different. What are people close to you? What are they usually saying? How do they usually describe you? Um, <laughs> um, usually, people usually use words like silly, mm. funny, <laughs> um, hyperactive, jumpy, excited, happy, sunny. Mostly those words. <laughs> and, and if there is one word you would like to add to the collection, what would you say? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, so, so, so tell me something. When, when people get to know you, what is one thing surprises them about you? You think? Um. Usually when people get to know me, they're shocked that I'm doing so much work at such mm. a young age. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're surprised too, because I, I myself didn't even think that I was going to do this at, um, at 11. I didn't think that I was going to start all this work at, at 9. Mm -hmm. So that was, I was surprised too. <laughs> you mentioned you, you, you're the younger younger of two, two children, aren't you? Yes. You have an older sister. What's her name? Sindari. Sindari. Tell us a little bit about Sindari. Well, she, um, she's fun too, just like me. She's, um, she's playful. She, uh, she's very silly. Um, she can sometimes get hyperactive and we can sometimes get on each other's nerves, but 
it's always it's always fine in the end. <laughs> if we were to ask Sundari to tell us about you, what do you think she would say? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, you want us to bring her on? Yes. Sundari, would you like to come on? Oh. <laughs> Here. No, no, you can sit. Oh. Are you sharing a seat now? Yeah. Come on, Dad. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. All right. So, here we have Sindari. Sindari, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi. All right. So, I'm Sindari. 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 I'm I am still working on dancing and swimming, and yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. When you and your sister, Shahadi, first got the role of the Lion King, what was going through your mind? I was just so excited because actually, when when we got the like the voicemail, sh uh, we actually just came back from vacation, so. So I um, I remember our mom was saying that we have some news from Lion King, so we were like, well, we'll play play the voicemail. Mm -hmm. So we were listening, and then I finally heard congratulations. I just started screaming because I heard congratulations, <laughs> and I was like, you got the part. And they're like, wait, wait. He's like, no, she got the part. So <laughs> yeah. So lots of people don't realize, or a few people may not realize that your parents, both of your parents, are dancers mm -hmm. and teachers. So, what is that like, knowing that, uh, what is that like for you, that both of your parents are dancers and teachers? What is it like growing up in a home like that? Well, definitely when, um, a lot last year when I'll be asking for help, you know, they're like, no, you're doing this wrong, or no, you have to put that there, or, you know, it's always, you know, they're teaching me how to do things correctly. So when I get back in dance class, I always know, like, I'm always up to par in, in um, my choreography. And you, Shahadi, how well does this work for you? Um, we have kind of a crazy house. Like, I mean, <laughs> everything, um, everything's kind of a little bit difficult, like getting out of the house and, we, and all of us have so many schedules. Like, um, my dad just started uh, teaching at, um, with the BFA program um, uh, um, at Alvin Ailey. And my my mom is still working and dancing and teaching, and sometimes she goes to Poughkeepsie to teach workshops. And Sundari here is swimming a lot, and she has swimming practice, and I have to be at the theater every day. But right now, I'm kind of relaxing and enjoying like a little bit of a vacation. And I, I just started homeschooling, so that's uh, the schedule's getting a little bit easier, and my mom and I are going to leave for LA in a few in a few days. So you were eleven. Sindari, how old are you? I'm thirteen. You're thirteen. Two young people understand the importance of um, having of of having discipline. Understand the importance of commitment and passion. How do you think this come about, mom and dad? How how do you think these values were instilled in you? Uh, I definitely at a very young age I had a lot of um, obedience and discipline mm -hmm. because you know pre-k and kindergarten the teachers would always say that oh my gosh Sundari is just so well behaved you know we would have to use her as an example or you know they would have to say Shahadi we have to use her as an example for the kids to you know behave and everything and that I just grew up with that you know I never you know out of, went out of line or anything so that always just stayed with me. And you, Shahadi, how is this growing up in a household that is full of discipline and order and organization? What is that like for you? Um, it's it's definitely not easy because we we have to live up to such big expectations, and um, and sometimes it's hard, but sometimes it's um, it's it's just kind of. I wouldn't say it's easy because it's never easy. Nothing's easy. I mean, um, I mean, some. Um, I don't really dance and um, anymore right now, so I, I, I kind of have lost a little bit of what I, I I've learned over all these years, 
And so I'm, I'm kind of excited to get back into dance class um, after I get back from LA or if something else pops up <laughs> or, um, or, but, but you know, it's, it's, it's really fun. It's always fun. Sonari, a few questions before we take a break. Um, would you like to, to go on stage? Is, is that something you aspire to? Yeah. You know, I'm always going on stage for, um, you know, mostly dancing, you uh -huh. know, having solos or duets or sometimes trios. So, you know, I'm very accustomed to going on stage and showing what I have. But if I was going on stage, like for acting or singing, then I, I would consider it. What is it like having an amazing, gifted and talented little sister like Shandari? It's, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> It's very, it's very, it's do you very, help for rehearsal lines? sometimes uh -huh. I do sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I do help her with her lines or scripts. Sometimes everybody helps her to understand like what her character is and what she's doing in this, in her setting, in her place. And those times, and this question goes to both of you, we take a quick break. Those times when you are either calling on something to get past a little bit of stage fright, get past a little bit of doubt or fear. When, when you're in those moments, which of your parents are you thinking of at the same time? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, usually my dad usually picks me up and takes me to work so I usually talk to him about that kind of stuff uh -huh. but I wouldn't really say that I think of him at those moments I would I would kind of say like I I could I could use him right now I could I could I could talk to him right now if I if I could you know okay I, I said we're gonna go on a quick break yeah <laughs> you brought this up I, I have to ask you this mm -hmm. Lots of young people looking at you right now are thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I go on stage and sometimes I clam up and, you know, there's this, the, the butterflies in my stomach and I get scared and so on. Does that still happen for you after all these experiences? Mm, well, it doesn't really come up that much anymore. I mean, when, when I first started The Lion King, that happened all the time. But when I started to do School of Rock, now it's kind of, it's kind of fading away, mm. and now that I'm doing hairspray, I think it's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, how did you manage it when you were like Lion King? What do you do? Well, I take I take deep deep breath breaths backstage. Um, I usually like tell the wrangler I'm a little bit nervous. What should I do? and they calm me down, and some of the cast members even do that too. And, and that, was, that was something that I could rely on when I was in The Lion King. And you said, Larry, how do you deal with it? Uh, like Shahadi said, you know, I would definitely tell my cast members. Like um, there was this sh just short play I was in um, called Rhythm Stories, and that happens every year for Black History Month. And you know, I would have to do I would have to sing, um, lift every voice and sing. So I would just tell them like, okay, so I'm gonna do this, right? I'm, I'm gonna do this. And they would just tell me, you know, just breathe and calm down. You know, you're gonna do great and everything. Everybody's gonna be clapping. So you know, that would always calm me down. Let's take a quick break. 